Hi everyone, my name is Emma Bergic and I'm a professional tennis player and a coach. Um, today's workout is going to be focused on, we're going to do one exercise for the lower body, one exercise for the upper body, and we're going to do three of those circuits total. Um, so I'm going to be doing it and then in each circuit it's going to be three sets of that exercise. Um, I'm gonna be doing it and showing you, kind of cueing you in the first set what to do, and then later on you can just do it by yourself. The first one we're gonna do, and you have to be in the gym for this one. Uh, the first one we're gonna do is the Zerker cable squat uh, with the elevated heels. Um, we're gonna focus on our hamstrings here. I'm using 40 pounds and I'm using this here to elevate my heels but you can really use anything that there is in the gym. This is what I found. Okay, I'm gonna extend my arms. I'm gonna breathe through my upper back. And as I'm going down, I'm breathing in. As I'm coming up, I'm breathing out. Here we go. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna do 10. The key is to keep the elbows up. <sighs> Breathe through the upper body. <sighs> One more. Ten. We're gonna superset it with the lying chest press. You're gonna need 15 pound dumbbells and you're gonna put your feet and legs at a 90 degree angle. And you're going to inhale up. No, you're going to, okay, here we go. You're going to exhale up, inhale down. We're going to do 10 of these. Make sure your core is tight here. Exhale, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Good job. We're not gonna do long breaks in between because we're doing upper body, the lower body. So that way we can just switch quickly in between the exercises. We're gonna go right away into the cable machine zerker squat here. Here we go. Elbows up, extend them forward, breathe in and out. We usually focus on our quads when we're doing the squats, but here is really important to dig down to your heels and really to think about your hamstrings. Eight. Nine. One more. Then, good job. Right away into chest press. Make sure your legs are at a 90 degree angle. You have to engage your hamstrings here too. They should be working and your core should be working. Nine, one more, 10. Good job. We have one more set of each exercise.
if you need to lower or increase weight you can do that i'm going just at what feels good for me there we go elbows up and we're gonna go down one breathe in breathe out try to tuck in your pelvis four you're still going to feel it in your quads but it's really important to focus on your hamstrings here breathe in eight nine one more ten good job one more set here of the chest press and we're gonna move on always check in that your ribs are in abs are squeezed hamstrings are squeezed and let's go two breathing is important here nine one more ten good work okay the second round what we're going to do is tempo split squat that's going to be for the legs first we're gonna do eight reps on each side and first one i'm going to do without any weights and then we'll see if i can add any weights because i've been doing this lately but without weights back heel against the wall and you want to be at the 90 degree angle again you don't want your knee to go past your toe okay and as you go down you're going to count three seconds down inhale and three seconds up exhale you want to really stack everything here so but here don't tuck and don't crunch so keep everything straight focus on the hamstring here and hamstring back there we go you can hold your arms here here we go inhale as you go down one two three one two three nice and controlled here i'm already feeling the burn four five six seven one more eight good job now switch sides again inhale on the way down three four seven one more and eight good job okay we're gonna superset this with the cable chest press the opposite leg is in front so here for me left leg is in front i'm gonna focus on squeezing my oblique here uh, i'm gonna place my left hand on my rib cage here and then put the cable underneath you don't want to go too far back here so start here and then exhale as you press inhale here exhale inhale 10 times and i'm doing 25 pounds inhale you want to keep your rib cage in you don't want it to pop out 
nine, ten. Other side. I'm doing 25 pounds, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, right leg in front, find the oblique, rib cage in. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Here we go right away in here. I'm going to try to do this one with weight. I have here eight kilos or 18.5 pounds. I'm gonna hold it in front of my leg that in front of the leg that's back. Okay, here we go. This back arm is gonna go here. I'm gonna find my hamstrings again. Three seconds down, three seconds up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One. Two, breathe in, breathe out, abs are in the entire time. You want to have that straight stack, six, seven, eight, good job. Fly back here with the cable. Start whichever side you want. And here we go. Then here. Four. Six. If you feel like you can increase the weight, feel free to do so. Nine, ten. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. It's a good sign, it means you're working. Squeeze the front. One, two, three. Remember not to go too far back with the elbow and don't let that rib cage pop up. Six. Nine. <laughs> right back here. <sighs> back leg against the wall. And here we go. One, two, three. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. One, two, three, five. My leg is shaking a little bit. Make sure your hamstrings are working here as well. And you can feel your glutes definitely. If you don't, you're doing something wrong. Other side. Keep your gaze up. Two. Three. 
floor. Sometimes I want to rush, as you can see. I can definitely go slower. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. One more set of chest, cable, chest press. Here we go. Find the oblique here. Six. Abs are in. Abs are always working in all of these exercises. 10, good job. One more. Squeeze. Five. Eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good job. One minute break, get some water. Okay, we all have one of those least favorite exercises, I'm sure. And one of mine is a single leg squat. I'm really weak in that area, and this is why I need to work on it. And for tennis players, it's really important. Um, I'm supposed to do a sing. if you can, you want to do the single leg squat all the way down with no weight to the bench, but I can't. So I'm using this, so it's a little bit higher, or you can hold on to something as well, if you can't balance. So we're going to start on one leg, other leg is up, and we're going to go 10 times down. Here we go. One, two, breathe in on the way down, four, five, six, if you lose balance for a little bit, it's okay, just keep going, eight, nine, ten, I'm just tapping this. I'm not sitting all the way. If you can, that's great. Other leg, my weaker leg. Here we go. My left leg is weaker. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Eight, nine, and ten. Nice work. Now we're gonna do another one superset. We're gonna superset that one with a land. Uh, we're gonna superset that one with a one arm, single arm, half kneeling landmine press. Okay. You're only going to need bench for that. For me, it's really heavy anyways. So whichever leg is forward, opposite arm goes. You're going to hold it up. Opposite arm on the rib. And then you're going to go all the way down and up. You're in a slight diagonal here. Two. Three. Breathe on the way down. And up four, five, six, seven, explode up eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Other side. One, two. Push, four, drop it down. Make sure there's space between the elbow and the rib cage here. Seven, 
eight. This one is hard. Nine. And ten. Good work. Let's go back to, to the single leg squats. I'm starting on my right side, on my str stronger side again. Here we go. One, two, four, five, six, seven. One more, and ten. I don't know about you, but this is where my mind is like, I'm fighting with my mind. Because you're getting tired, muscles are getting fatigued, and then you're not doing the proper form all the way. But it's important to push yourself and know your goals know why you're doing this and to prevent injuries as well two more nine and ten okay I switched the angle of the camera so you can see it better here left leg forward bend to the right arm squeeze the abs and here we go Slightly lean forward. Five, six, eight, nine. One more. Ten. This is my second time doing this exercise, and actually, I'm doing it better second time through. Like, not second time today, but like in general in my life. Lean forward. One. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Here we go. Nine, ten. Good work. These ones are definitely hard. Different angle for these ones, too. Here we go. Last set. Best set and we're done for today. Whew. Good work. Really good work today. These are not easy. Here we go. Arms in front for balance. Left leg in front. And here we go. Down. Two. Lost balance. It's okay. Keep going. Even if you do. Not a big deal. Breathe in. Out. Six, seven, eight, here we go, two more, okay, left side, two, my goal is to really get this left side stronger because this is where I get injured a lot, my left side my left low back and I really believe because it's weak eight nine ten oh good work let's go last last exercise of the day one to also engage your hamstrings. I know I'm mentioning hamstrings a lot too, but it's so important. Everything works, core, hamstrings, glutes. <sighs> Dig down through your heel in the front leg. Nine, 10, <sighs> one. Two, three, five, six, breathe, eight, nine, 
One more. Then, great job team. Make sure to clean up after and put your away if whichever gym you're in. Make sure to warm up and stretch before every workout and after every workout. So, so important. Don't just start these, like I did my breathing exercises. I actually played tennis before. I did some of the stretches and mobility stuff. Please write down in the comments if you want something specific to attack some specific muscles or if you want to work more mobility, stability, if you want in the gym, if you want outside. Let me know what kind of workouts you're interested in so I know. And also follow my comeback on tour on YouTube and Instagram, um, Tennis with Emma, 1M. And then my podcast as well, Emma, amazing tennis podcast. Um, follow me everywhere. Tennis with Emma. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this workout and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting me on this journey. For more content, please follow Tennis with Emma on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.